everyone, welcome or welcome back here to my channel where I play Planners 2. My name is Nisa and today we're gonna take a look at the little blue penguin mod made by Leaf and Mega Gaming Rex. And little blue penguin explains exactly what this mod is. It's a very small penguin that's blue instead of black and it's gorgeous. Look at this picture here, the color fits in completely with the water, it's just so cute, the beak is a little more bendy compared to other penguins and they have their own beautiful colored wings and they are also tiny and that's basically what you're gonna get. <laughs> but it brings so much new into the game and especially penguins which is an animal that is very cute but it can very quickly become the same and the same and the same with a normal penguin the one we have built for 100 times in the game and if you want something completely different the blue one will change things up so let's jump in here and see what happens next. As you can see here, they are very, very tiny compared. I didn't even get a um, <laughs> penguin from the game to compare because I was... Um, sorry, I can't spell and talk at the same time. Uh, which one? The king one is from the game, right? I think it's the king one. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just. <laughs> I have so many months at this point. But after we are done with Future Life Asia, I'm gonna clean up all of the mods and only keep the prop mods. Uh, unless there's something I'm going to build for. Um, but we're gonna drop this. Okay, didn't I just buy. One oh it went there. We're gonna compare it afterwards, then it probably done over the year. Um but look at this beautiful blue color. I love it so much. It's so beautiful. The babies looks like baby penguins. Um but the adults blue color is so unique. Let's jump into Supedia. They are at least concerned animal locally. Uh, I don't want us to miss this beautiful creature at any time and honestly I have never heard about them before so I think I at some point saw Leaf uh, show them off in his mud showcase and I was just amazed by them but I just haven't gotten around to do the video before now they are fun, 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 100, 500 <laughs> thousand lift of them in the wild at this point and they live in australia more specifically new zealand which do explain the beautiful blue water they live of course in aquatic biome but also in desert grassland and tropical biomes which is kind of different again if you want to build for penguins but want something new wants to mix it up this is perfect you need for a four 40 square meters of land and 30 of water uh, and they also need deep water so keep that in mind that's 86 square meters um they live from 3 to 43 degrees celsius so they can live in the hottest parts of most of the biomes uh, and you need a great two fins, four feet, 94, so that's a meter and 60 or something around there. Group size from 6 to 500, uh, gender doesn't matter. No dim dominance, no dominance, and they are monogamous. Uh, relationship with humans are neutrals and guests can enter their habitat. They grow to about uh, 12 inch long, both males and females. 12 inch, that's... <laughs> yeah, my mouth here. Yeah, I'm so sorry. It's 5 and that's 2, so it's 22, 25. That doesn't fit. No, it's 30, around 30 centimeters, something like that. 
uh, life expectancy uh, only around six years so it is one of those animals where you need to be on your toes with them all the time and uh, they weigh around three pounds that's around one and a half kilo um research on maturity at age three so they can actually only reproduce for half their life they can reproduce until they die luckily <laughs> and they will give uh, two offspring it's not one or two or two or three or anything it's exactly two offspring every year and they are only pregnant for a single month and they should be easy to get to reproduce in captivity and i agree <laughs> with that they don't have any other species enrichment which i find very sad but going into um, enrichment going down here right uh, penguin fits for the food enrichment but not here um well, yes, it does. Now it doesn't. No, sorry, uh, the water jets they don't use. So, just to go over it fast, it's the floaty thingy, the mirror thingy, rubber doggy, uh, the tall bubble machine, the submarine, the sprinkler, block of ice, and the light thingy. And for food enrichment, we actually have a lot. Uh, both underwater feeder, we have this slow feeder, and the block of frozen fish. We have so many babies in here it's crazy well did our king penguin yeah our pink king kink our king penguin already yeah sorry it's one of those days where i, I for some reason just can't speak and if you follow my channel you know there's a lot of those let's see he's coming here Oh, it's actually a female. Normally, I compare males, uh, but no matter. We just gonna take a female to compare to. Hmm. We have one here. None of them have uh, names. They are all named unknown. Just a little thing. Uh, I don't really care for the names that much. <laughs> Uh, sorry, it's just the sizing here that is so off. Um, I know the king penguin is one of the bigger penguins, but clearly this is this could it's probably smaller than the babies of the king penguin. It's so amazing and they are so cute. So yeah, you get a lot of difference. I will say though, I think the king penguin is one of the beautiful more beautiful penguins overall penguins are a beautiful creature with the black and the white and a lot of them have small detail that tells them apart the king penguin have the yellow here and the yellow here or orange more likely um but it's small detail telling them apart where the little blue penguin is very unique it also have these gorgeous blue eyes so again you can build something completely different and they also can uh, they have smaller hitboxes so they can get in between places uh, for instance when they swim where the king penguin just wouldn't be able to i'm not sure we don't have anyone diving because i don't think i have enough space for that and it is placed too low here in the water i will just mention uh, as long as you have enough water so they deep dive then you don't really notice this because swimming above water is not one of the things you look most after with penguins it's more when they're on land or when they really swim and dive but let's see here we have this beautiful beak and it actually looks like it has teeth um um i have no idea if that's right or wrong so i'm just gonna leave it there um the texture is also quite unique now penguins have feathers but they are very very small so the texture is very very different from other feathered animals 
and they do have fur on the belly as far as I remember. We have a little bit of glitching, keep in mind that might be my computer and not the mud. I really like the clothes though, I think the feet could have just a little bit more detail. Um, but overall, ah! so beautiful and all of these beautiful small colorations and as you can see here these tiny tiny small looks like hair strands details are very very beautifully done so overall a very beautiful mud we will look at a baby i will say the babies isn't the wow factor here but they are quite cute especially because they're even smaller than the adult here which again looks like a baby for the king penguin it looks like they are running on skates or something like that it's because when the mothers change the size of an animal they aren't able to change the speed so either they would have to build them too big or they will have to skate so i prefer this um solution i will say though i sh kind of shit on the babies here they are quite well done you have all of these baby feathery um uh, textures uh, which are very fluffy and they got away with it very well. We have this beautiful little eye and a lot of detail around the eye. Also a lot of details on the beak. And I actually think the feet are better done than the adult. So overall also very very beautifully done. It is just these uh, small things like the swimming that's off. Um, but once again, beautifully, beautifully done. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you today, guys. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. I really hope to see you again. I'll in the comments below or in the next video. Bye, guys.